Hi, boys and girls. This is Mrs. Lemoyne again, and today we're going to be doing Unit 7, Lesson 6, Hierarchy of Quadrilaterals. We're going to explore the hierarchy of quadrilaterals. What do you notice? What do you wonder? Well, I notice that there are two shapes made out of toothpicks. The shape on this side, this shape is a square. And this shape, um, the angles are, we still have four toothpicks or four sides. So this shape is not a square because this is not a 90 degree angle. The angles are different sizes. And I noticed that they're both made from toothpicks. I guess I could say that. Um, I wonder what we call this. And I wonder what we're going to do next. So let's find out. Oops. Okay. Build a square with your toothpicks. How do you know it's a square? So here we are. I'm going to go ahead and get out of the slideshow so I can show you the toothpicks that I have. I'm going to make it a square. I know that it's a square because all the sides are the same length and um, Every toothpick is at a right angle, a 90 degree angle, right? Remember yesterday, or the, one of the lessons that I did, we could measure that by putting a card and making sure that it lines up. And over here, same thing. So there is my square, and I could do the same thing over this side so that it makes a perfect square and I have 90 degree angles. I know it is a square because I have equal sides. Oops, this one moved out. I have equal sides and each angle is a right angle or a 90 degree square. Uh, angle, not square. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Use the same four toothpicks to build this shape. What stayed the same and what changed? All right, here we go. So to build that shape, all I have to do is move my angles, right? I just have to move these toothpicks and make sure that it connects. Now, what stayed the same is that I still have four toothpicks, right? I have one, two, three, four. So I have four sides, I have a quadrilateral, but what changed was the angle, right? The angles changed. So it's no longer a square. And no longer a square. Okay, let's see what else they ask us. Build a rectangle with six toothpicks. How do you know it's a rectangle? All right, now my toothpicks are rather long, but let's see if we can fit this in the camera. Okay, so now I'm going to make sure, remember a rectangle has to have a 90 degree angle. And I do six toothpicks, so I have one, two, three, four, five, Six. I know it's a rectangle because it's a quadrilateral. One, two, three, four sides. And each angle is a 90 degree angle. Okay? So that's how I know it's a, a, a rectangle. It has four angles or right angles and it has four sides. All right. So they want me to use the same toothpicks to make this. So what changed? What stayed the same? Well, I'm using the same six toothpicks, but what's going to change is the angle that I put on these sides. So that changes the angle here and here, here and here. I no longer have a 90 degree angle, right? They are, this is bigger than 90 degrees. That's less than 90 degrees. That's bigger than 90 degrees and less than 90 degrees. All right, so that's what changed. What stayed the same was I used the same amount and the same lengths. The same lengths stayed the same. How did the shape stay the same? Um, the shape stayed the same. I used the same sides, the same lengths. The only thing that changed was those angles. Which of the shapes you made are parallelograms and how do you know? I think that they're all parallelograms. I know that because a parallelogram has opposite 
opposite parallel sides. This side is parallel to that side. I think this toothpick is crooked. Let me get a, a straighter one. There we go. So this side is parallel to that side. This side is parallel to that side. So I know it's a parallelogram because it has opposite sides are parallel, both of them. Which of the shapes you built had four equal sides? The square and then the second shape, right? That didn't have right angles, but was still four toothpicks. It's called a rhombus. A quadrilateral with four equal sides is a rhombus. So we can go back and make that shape again. I have too many toothpicks here, so let's do that. I have four sides. The toothpicks make sure that they are the same length, right? So that's a rhombus. So when I make it back a square, a square, it's also a rhombus because I have four equal sides, and that's the definition of rhombus, right? Four equal sides is a rhombus. So it doesn't have to have four equal angles, but four equal sides is a rhombus. So now we know what a trapezoid is, we know what a rhombus is, we've already known what a square and rectangle are, and so we're going to move on from there. Here we go. Draw three different quadrilaterals on the grid, making sure at least one of them is a parallelogram. Parallelogram. Well, let's see. Three different quadrilaterals on this grid. Let me get my pen out, make sure I have it. That is not working, is it? There we go. Let's see if this works. Sorry about that. Sometimes I have technical difficulties. All right, so here I'm going to do, I think I'm just going to draw a square. Square. So I know it's a square because it's going to be equal lengths. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then I'm just going to connect that there. Okay, so that is a parallelogram, and it's a square. So this is a parallelogram, I'm going to abbreviate, and a square. It's also, by definition, a rhombus, right? Because it has four equal sides. All right, another quadrilateral. It said three different quadrilaterals. Here, I'm going to make another one. So let's start here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I'll go here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and connect those dots. This is not a rectangle, right? Because it doesn't have right angles. There we go, let's try this again. So hard to draw on a computer, there we go. But it is a quadrilateral, it doesn't have equal sides, but it is, and it isn't a parallel, well, it is a parallelogram, isn't it? I have parallel lines there, so this is a parallelogram. Low gram. All right. And then let's see, I'll draw one more quadrilateral. And there we go. For each of your quadrilaterals, determine if it's a square, rhombus, rectangle, or parallelogram. Well, I think that this has equal sides. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yep. It, it's the same lengths each time, so it's going to be a rhombus. It's not a square, but it is a parallelogram. Parallelogram. There we go. Um, we already talked about how this is a parallelogram, a square, and a rhombus, and this is just a parallelogram. And I've already shown my reasoning. All right. Let's move on and see what else they ask us. Draw a rhombus that is not a square. How do you know it's a rhombus but not a square? Well, if it was a square, it would have 90 degree angles. So I'm going to draw, oops, a rhombus has to have equal sides. So I'm going to try here. I think it needs to be a little bit steeper because that looks like a square. So let's do this. Hmm. It's hard to draw without a grid, isn't it? It's hard to draw without a grid. So remember, um, I need equal sides, but not 90 degree angles. So let's do this. That's a rhombus. 
if these sides are all equal, that's a rhombus, and it's not a square. Now draw a rhombus that is a square. So that's really easy, right? Two lines that are the same length. All four lines have the same length, and these are 90-degree angles. Diego says it's impossible to draw a square that is not a rhombus. Do you agree? No, no. Um, I draw a quadrilateral, a quadrilateral, and I'm going to abbreviate, with equal length sides. Sides that does not have 90 degree angles. Angles is um, a rhombus. That's not a square. Okay. Let's see what else they ask us to do. Mai says all squares are rhombuses. If a shape is a square, it is also a rhombuses, but rhombuses are not squares. What do you think Mai means? Is anything unclear? Well, I think that, yeah, we can draw a rhombus that is a square, and we can draw a rhombus that is not a square. So all squares have to be a rhombus, right? So that's what I think she means by that. Okay, let's move on. Oops. Come on, move on. There we go. With your partner, work together to write a revised explanation that includes specific words and phrases, all or some, label a table, a graph, or a diagram, and let's share our revised explanations. Okay. How can we use this diagram to help us revise Mai's thinking? So what they're saying is that this shape includes all the rhombuses in the world and squares are all rhombuses. So remember, I can draw a rhombus. I can draw a rhombus that is not a square. But if I drew this, it's a rhombus that is a square. So all squares are rhombuses, but not all rhombuses are squares. The diagram shows that all squares are rhombuses, but not all rhombuses are squares. Today we related squares to rhombuses and rectangles to parallelograms. What makes a square a rhombus? Well, it has equal length sides. That's a square is a rhombus because a rhombus has all equal length sides. Are all rhombuses squares? No, and we proved that, didn't we? We can actually draw a rhombus that is not a square, right? As long as it has equal length sides and not, no 90 degrees, then it's a rhombus that's not a square. Ooh, look at this diagram. This diagram is sometimes hard to think about. But let's talk about it. So when I look at this diagram, I look at the biggest, the biggest pot. This thing is the biggest thing that holds everything inside of it, right? So that's the biggest pot. In that pot, I can have trapezoids, parallelograms, rhombuses, and squares, right? Squares are very narrow definition. They have to have all equal sides. They have to have 90 degree angles. So a square is a rhombus, a square is also a parallelogram, a square is also a trapezoid, and a square is a quadrilateral. Then we get to rhombuses. Rhombuses have to have all equal sides, but it doesn't have to necessarily have 90 degree angles. So a rhombus is a parallelogram, a rhombus is a trapezoid, and a rhombus is a quadrilateral. All right, and then it goes on from there, right? All parallelograms are trapezoids, all parallelograms are quadrilaterals. So we could write something here to describe all that. Where would we draw a rhombus that is not a square? Well, we already did that right here, right? We would draw it outside the box that contains only squares, but inside the box that contains rhombuses. How does this diagram show that a square is a rhombus and a parallelogram? 
Well, it's inside the box that is a parallelogram. It's inside the box that is a parallelogram. And it's inside the box that is a rhombus. So that means that the squares are rhombuses and parallelograms. Okay, so at this point in my class, we write some things down, right? So here's the notes that my, my students take. You may want to write them as well. A square is always, always a rhombus. A square is always a rhombus, right? A rectangle is always a parallelogram. So I would draw a rectangle here, right? It is not, all rectangles are not parallelograms though, because a rhombus is a parallelogram and a square is a parallelogram. So I can add to this statement, but a parallelogram is only sometimes a, pair, a um, rectangle, right? And this figure that we have here that the slide provides for us is really good at thinking about that, right? So a rectangle that belongs under parallelograms is not a rhombus and it's not a square, but rhombuses are parallelograms and rhombuses are squares, right? So it's really um, a great tool to help us to classify the hierarchy. All right, let's go to our cool down and see what, if we can de decipher it. Explain why a rhombus is always a parallelogram. Use the grid if it's necessary. So a rhombus is always a parallelogram because it has parallel, opposite parallel sides. Opposite sides are always parallel. So if I were to draw a rhombus, I could draw a square. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. This line is parallel with its opposite. This line is parallel with its opposite. I could also draw it like this. So what makes that rhombus again? It has equal sides, equal length sides. And I could draw it like this. Each side is the same length, and this side is parallel to this side, this side is parallel to that side. So all rhombuses are parallelograms. All right, boys and girls, I hope you understand the difference between um, a rhombus, a trapezoid, and rectangles and parallelograms and the hierarchy of those shapes. And I will see you again next time on Lesson 7.